I'm trying to get to Canada because I have to work soon and I didn't realize the journey would be so unexpected. But before I get into this new vlog, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Carissa and I'm a Canadian flight attendant who commutes from the island of the Arubas. I blog and vlog about travel and island life. I know, a flight attendant who vlogs about travel is shocking. Please like and subscribe as this lovely gesture helps my little channel grow. So here's the situation. There are no more flights from Canada to Aruba. Again, why this has ceased for the time being, I cannot answer. We got creative and booked with a US airline and with just three flights and a short night spent in an airport wishing I wasn't, then I would get to Canada in approximately 24 hours, give or shake. However, my first flight was delayed by an hour, which didn't allow me to get onto the next two flights. Or so they said. So the next airline rebooked my tickets and then they said they would put me up in a hotel in Washington for the night. It was a lie. Not only when I arrived to Washington airport, I could have just barely made my original flight, but then they told me they were not giving me a hotel room and my composure, I must admit it was dwindling. So I not only missed a flight I could have made if they had not rebooked me, but I also had to book my own hotel room. I am working on my attitude and it seems I am working overtime. I have to say though, as soon as I got to the hotel, my husband had called ahead and he made sure everything went smoothly and the people at this hotel are so, so nice. They did everything they possibly could to make sure I was taken care of. I wanted some food, the lounge was closed and they went in, they got me a whole bunch of packaged snacks just because they are such nice people and I haven't eaten much all day so very impressed with the people at the hotel. The people who booked me a hotel room here, but actually didn't and said they would, I'm not so impressed with them, but attitude adjustment, we're working on it. The one perk though is this bed is much softer than the floor of the airport would have been. I can't believe I just left Aruba today. It feels like I just got back home and had to leave again. We had a lot of work to do with our vacation rental business and some renovations, and so we never really got the chance to relax together. But yesterday we finally had our first day to relax and it was so nice. We visited our adopted island parents who we love so, so much. And we had brunch with them because we always brunch with them on Sundays. It's a non-negotiable, non-negotiable, non-negotiable. I, I can't say this word. And if you can, good for you, say it five times fast and brag in the comments. Anyways, I was able to relax by the pool and have the perfect last day in Aruba before my next Canadian adventure. And this morning, oh, it was heaven. I fed the seagulls and they were so pleased that I did. And I said hello to them and then we went for a swim. My Dutchman and I went for a coffee date in the rainstorm before I went to the airport and it was just the most perfect, perfect morning. I love my job. So now I have to go to bed, it's almost 11 and I have to get up at 4.30 in order to make the shuttle in time, in order to make the flight on time, so. Hi there, I am wondering if you can do a wake up call for 4.30 tomorrow morning for me? All right, thank you so much, have a good night. 
this is this is an ungodly hour this is i don't like it i am 100 percent lost in this hotel i don't know where i'm going Life is basically controlled by crew scheduling. The one thing you can do on reserve though is see what flights are available and do what they call an open bid on a flight. So you can only do this the day before your first day on a reserve pairing. So I've actually only done reserve in two months of my life. So I've actually never really done this before. So massive shout out to my friend Megan who gave me a full tutorial so I could try my luck with it. So I'm gonna do that here at the airport in between my flights. This gives me a higher chance of getting a flight that I would like more. Um, reserve is really luck of the draw. You either get the best, most incredible flights that are more senior or you get flights at the bottom of the pile. So I'm going to pull up my laptop and see what is available and try my luck. I was able to check on my phone instead of the laptop about open bidding and all that was really available was some short domestic turns which I'm not really interested in. So I am just going to try again next time. It's a good experience anyway. back in Vancouver and I got randomly selected for another COVID test. So I get the results back in one to three days and I have to call in for work tonight to see if they have a trip for me tomorrow. So hopefully I don't have work before I get the results back. This trip is full of surprises. This is a silver 20 pound note. His eyes lit up like diamonds and he just said bang, 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 bang. He goes, go on. He he crash pad, sweet crash pad. I am here. The moment I got back, I jumped into the shower to take care of this hair situation and freshen up. We are moisturized. I no longer look like a wet mop. Actually, I look more like a wet mop than I did before, come to think of it. However, it is clean. I am fresh. And I had to stay up for a few hours in order to call crew scheduling because tomorrow I'm on duty unless they release me. They don't like to be called before the time they're supposed to be called to know tomorrow's duty. So I was going to just stay up. But thankfully, they sent me a notification on my phone. I am released for tomorrow, which I am so thankful for because then it just gives me some time to recalibrate so I can go to sleep. Have you seen these before? It's a Chinese head massager and it's supposed to stimulate your hair follicles so that your hair ugh, grows thick and luscious but kind of gets stuck in your head sometimes. Anyway, I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching and seeing what the life of a commuting flight attendant is like. Although this isn't normal, it should be a lot easier when the Canadian flights 
come back. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe because that would be very, very nice. And I will see you next time.